All right. Maybe you're confused. Maybe not. Let's call in our MPs to sort all this out. Stella Ambler is a conservative MP from Mississauga. Nathan Cullen is the NDP's finance critic. Adam Bond is a liberal MP from Toronto. Welcome to you all. Great to be here. I will go to you first, Nathan. Is the NDP, the official opposition, worried that you're on the wrong side of public opinion on this, uh, siding with concern over personal privacy, over what some people think are steps needed to prevent terrorism from coming on our shores? Even well, more certainly, now. we believe a couple of things. One is that access of terror and the protection uh, of Canadians is of paramount importance to any government, whatever their political persuasion. This is, this is a role of government, it's an important role. Yet we've seen in the past mistakes have been made if, it's, if the legislation comes in it's overreaching, that rights that Canadians enjoy and need protected are not often protected if the government gets swept up in their own idea of what is necessary and don't listen to the groups that are also important like say the Supreme Court of Canada or civil rights groups that have fought for years to protect Canadians privacy and those basic things so we looked at this bill very carefully and we're concerned with the lack of public oversight lack of there's no parliamentary oversight whatsoever and that we've seen in reports in the past then we're looking at our spy agencies that the oversight that is there right now the protection to make sure that the the powers that are given and they're extraordinary powers I think we'll all admit mm -hmm. the ability to go into somebody's private life completely uh, affect them is something that you need to balance with the responsibility that somebody's watching and has the public's interest in heart at heart we have a justice minister right now as we saw today who can't even define what an act of terror may or may not be that well, if they're said, neo look it up oh he yelled look it up at the press <laughs> how it, it, neo nazis in halifax planning to shoot a bunch of people in a mall by his definition isn't culturally based well what what the hell does that mean when does the justice minister suddenly put culture in as a leading definition of what terror is and isn't, which isn't, by the way, in the criminal code. He's the, he's the country's it, highest solicitor. He should actually know what's involved. Weird, is it a little Stella. odd? Because yeah, uh, I looked it up. It took me two minutes. It's the unofficial or unauthorized use of violence and intimidation in the pursuit of political aims. Um, that could apply to an awful lot of stuff. Uh, it could apply to the shopping mall incident in Halifax. It could apply to what was done at the legislature, planned out of the legislature. Right, and I just so I just came from the House of Commons, uh, and I'll, I'll be going back and spending some more time there tomorrow, and uh, we'll be debating this bill, uh, uh, C-51, and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to the debate. I was able to listen to uh, the public safety minister's speech and uh, one other, and I expect to hear a lot more. So the, the debate is starting. Mm -hmm. Today the issue, as you know, was... Um, completely unfounded concerns uh, about uh, the difference between peaceful protest and terrorism. Now, uh, let me say, first of all, that CSIS has understood and been able to work um, with the definition of terrorism for 30 years, and, uh, and, and I think they certainly uh, know the difference between lawful dissent and terrorism, and they knew it yesterday, and they're going to continue to know it tomorrow. But I did bring the bill with me today. Today, Does Don. it have terrorism defined anywhere it, in that? It actually it has uh, um, a definition of security of, of Canada, which relates to this uh, unfounded you start fear. That whole bill. I'm cutting I, you off. I am not. I will not read the whole <laughs> bill, but I do want to read that for clarity. It does not include lawful advocacy, protest, uh, dissent, and artistic expression. So these fears are completely. It's just it is fear mongering oh. by by the opponents of the bill. Okay, I'll get Can back I, to you in a second, okay. Nathan. But I do want to get Adam in this one because. It sounds like Justin Trudeau has bought the bill, but he knows it's flawed, and he'd like to make changes, but he's going to wait till he becomes prime minister. And I guess no. I worry, like, no. if he never becomes prime minister? No, this I, thing I, goes that, through that, as it is. That's not the party position. The party position is very clear. Existing laws have not prevented threats coming to this country or originating in the side of this country, and so the existing laws must be re renewed and, it, it, where possible, strengthened. And so we support the review and the bringing of this to committee, and we hope, and we really hope, that learned Canadians, that a wide range of, of, of experience be brought to bear on that, and that those vagaries that, that I think are, are worrisome uh, get defined, further defined. And I think that's, that's what's something we should all be working towards, because good law is what parliamentarians should produce. We also have been calling for weeks four months for stronger civilian oversight of our security agencies and we will work towards that as well because fundamental and I know this from being a city councillor and serving on police service boards civilian oversight parliamentary oversight is fundamental to a functioning civil rights system and a parliamentary system and a policing system and that has to be strengthened and we will work towards that but but the, the part of the bill that's missing and and President Obama spoke to it and is holding a conference 
with with a cross section of of of, of, of participants, which we think is is, is necessary in the, in the parliamentary uh, committee process, which is about the prevention issue. It's good to see the Conservatives aren't ridiculing people for talking about the roots of terrorism anymore. We have got to figure out what triggers radicalization because it's not just uh, followers of Islam that are being triggered. It's also people converting to Islam and then converting to a radical form of Islam. We have got to get in on that and start building stronger communities and we need to see the government move on. You're itching to get in here. I'm, I'm itching. Two challenges. One is uh, from the government. We haven't. We asked for a commitment several times today that they weren't going to ram this bill through. If you want to respect Parliament and show respect and actually have a debate because they ran this government has closed down debate in the House of Commons as you know more Scandals. than any government in Canadian history that's a problem it's their tendency we didn't get assurances from the minister today that we'd actually talk about this thing and bring the experts that Adam's talking they're, they're about talking about so, it right now so, yeah wow. but the, you heard and my tomorrow. point you're, you're, okay. you, you want support, <laughs> goodness. You, you want support closure <laughs> on this way <laughs> you want support closure if, on if this we're way changing way. something so fundamental as the way, the way we deal with security and, and Canadians rights in this country you think that you'd have a government at least willing to come forward and commit to the idea they're not going to close debate off on something like this but we haven't had it yet Hope springs eternal. Yeah, I was going to say. The, 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 challenge, the challenge I have for, and I have great respect for what Adam said, is that the, the, the support the Liberals gave to this was, first of all, before they saw the bill, they said they would support the bill. Second, that now that the bill is in, they're saying, well, we hope for these changes, and we all hope for greater public oversight, but that if they don't get the changes, they're still going to support the bill. So it's, it is, your question was, will the Liberals change it once only, and if but, Justin Trudeau becomes Nathan, prime that's minister? Because, that's, that's because that, there are some good decisions so they, in this bill. So then, for example, getting the, the, the different security me, system to talk to each other allow me this. would prevent things like the Aurora case. That if there's a, that if so there is some good policy that, here that we have got to get Adam, to work on. But, if, but allow me this. If okay. public oversight and, and protecting the public rights that we're so concerned about is in fact maybe a poison pill in this bill, which we have deep concerns over, who gets targeted? Is yeah, it but, the, 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 the protesters standing up against an industrial project they don't want to see is against the economic interests of the country? I am not so cynical and, and, that I can't trust the courts. Well, the courts are fine, but we have to trust parliamentarians. That's why we got elected, is to make these decisions Agreed. and make the sometimes difficult decisions. So, is your sense that the government will allow amendments to this, or is it perfect upon arrival? Uh, well, we just started the debate. Uh, I really don't know um, how it's going to go, where it's going to go, but it will go to committee, and I have every um, faith in, in that committee that they'll do a good job of studying the bill, um, as they do for other bills. Uh, I, I mean, I think, and I, I would agree with the, uh, as well, I, I appreciate the, the Liberals' support of the bill, and, uh, sure and, 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 well, uh, I mean, it would pass regardless, but we're happy to have it. I would have also liked it if they had supported the Combating Terrorism Act. They would. Uh, it would have been nice if the Liberals supported stripping uh, Canadian citizenship from convicted well, can, uh, Canadian terrorists. You're talking about those uh, those bills, things would Stella. be nice too. Um, things, I mean. But uh, you know, having said that, we. I think. Uh, what we need to understand and what Canadians, I believe, do understand is that, is that um, freedom and security go hand in hand. That one does not, uh, any time you talk about security does not mean that you're infringing upon the freedoms of Canadians. Okay. Um, but the, but the, yeah. the critical thing here is that mediating that notion of security and, and civil rights going hand in hand is a strong parliamentary system that provides effective oversight. And if, if, if debate is short-circuited, if the parliamentary committee system is not a effective. Um, I, you know, the, the Conservatives will have unnecessarily part, made this a partisan issue and not one of national interest and, and, and will not be participating in how you balance that in a rational way. We have got to learn how to trust the courts again. We have got to learn how to trust parliamentary committees again. And we have got to work continuously on tweaking security measures and our civil right oversight so that we don't lose sight of the, of the critical balance that's at play here. That's the Liberal position and it is a very clear position. It bothers some people. People, well, because be, because they, because they, civil they're, they're rights like and security is they, a constant work we, in we progress. We all remember we all remember the mood in this place after the attacks, after Nathan Cirillo was shot just mm -hmm. meters from here, and how we stood in the parliament and talked about the need to unify, to come together, to to bring the parties together in order to protect Canadians right. and our rights. Our worry is at this point that 99.8% of all amendments brought by the opposition, both opposition by the way, are rejected by the government. So the, the track record of these guys, and they've also shut down debate more than any government in history. This moment, this important moment talking about security, which we all agree is important, and the moment to bring Canadians into the conversation rather than make it political, it was a missed moment by this government. And our concerns are that when they say there's some balance to be achieved between rights and security, we say those things have to happen at the same time. And one of the ways you 
guarantee that is you trust the public to have oversight, you trust Parliament to have oversight of these extraordinary powers, neither of which are in this bill. But the response That's a concern is not to, us. to do nothing until well, not the conservative behavior improves. Or to wait until you're hopefully elected we and then make the changes. We also discuss the need to give our law enforcement and security agencies the tools that they need to combat terrorism, and but, that's what this bill does. But public does. oversight is good for our law enforcement agencies. Of course it is. It, but why not why in here? That's why we have CERC. That's why, why they're oh, doing their jobs. CERC is politically appointed people that go uh, on the committee and get fired so, from time to time. One of them, you know, you know the, ends the, up the in the Panama asked jail. asked years ago to, to, to take this away, the civilian, oversight away from Parliament, no, give it oversight. to an independent okay. third civilian party. Oversight. We do that, and now you, they complain. So civilian oversight is not once a year. Civilian oversight is a constant oh. and, and a robust system that allows parliamentarians and civilians to participate in orchestrating the balance between civil rights and public safety. And it should not be a partisan issue. And we need, we need faith in Parliament. We need faith, faith in our courts to protect this balance. And it's a work in progress. We well, have got to work on this constantly because terrorism changes constantly. Legislation that, that's the issue in front is of a Canadians. work in progress. We'll see what happens. We we'll might all be happens. shocked that government allows debate to go on as long so, as they want. Wow. The amendments will all be accepted wow. and you'll be a you happy are, camper. You, are an and the guy. you watch out. I'll be first Stephen Harper. Heart of gold guy. All right. Thank you both. <laughs> Thank you all. Okay. Something